All right, I'm going to try to keep this as general as possible. Uh, that way you don't think it's just Maya that can do this. Okay, so you can do this any program. Blender, Maya, doesn't really matter. It's all you're doing right now is going to be blocking in a level and assigning textures to it. Okay, which means assigning UVs to things. So as long as the software packet can do a little bit of modeling, um, some UVs, you should be all right. Another option that you could do is you could build this stuff in Unity. Uh, we can build walls in Unity and align blocks up. It's very cumbersome. That the tool set there is just a little strange. So if you if you think about you know just building a block and then lining another block up, the polygons aren't touching. How do you handle UVs? Uh, how do you handle the tiling? And you can tile textures within Unity, but again, you know. I'm just an old world kind of guy that likes to build their levels with uh, uh, some polygons behind them. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Okay. In Maya, let's go into create polygon primitives and uncheck interactive creation. Okay. And we're going to block out some levels. I'm not concerned with scale right now. I'm just probably concerned more about you know getting the level or getting room set up. So I'm gonna start with a little box. And we'll make this box perfectly on the ground. Okay. And grab all its vertices. If you're unsure on how to use Maya, you know, you should maybe check out some of my stuff at uh, youtube.com slash canned mushrooms. That's right. Canned mushrooms, plural. So youtube.com slash canned mushrooms. You get some training videos from Maya there. Okay. So what I'm doing here is blocking out some rooms. So command D. And I'm going to keep their height. With the exception of the hallway. And this is strictly just concepting things out. So I'm not worried about connecting anything at this point, but if I do grab vertices, I'm going to grab them from the top and then move them down like that. Okay. And just get the kind of feel for that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So by not varying the heights too much, you're going to find that UVing becomes a very easy process. You should always kind of think about the overall UV. And also think about when you're concepting a level out in the construction phase. Uh, think house with no doors or windows. Uh, think it's very plain when you first walk into that house. It's, it's like... There's no aesthetics. There's no pictures hanging on the walls. There's no furniture anywhere. You think of the wall. You're thinking the hallway. You're thinking the interconnective uh, construction between the two uh, the rooms, and that's about it. Okay. Now here's where I start biting off more than I could chew for a video. So what I'm going to do is not do that. And maybe one, 
make only one more. There we go. Okay, so here's my concept right here. I have, you know, one, two, three, four rooms, some hallways, structures going in between, and they're quickly blocked out. All right, in the next video, what I want to do is start, you know, intertwining these and, and connecting them a little bit better.